Welcome to this introduction to Script Camera Action. It consists of two components, the Script Camera Action app and the Script Camera Remote app, Script Camera Action Remote app. Both can be downloaded from the App Store. Let me switch to the working page, if I may, and I'll do the same here. And I'll just demonstrate the workflow and a little bit about the interface. The workflow starts off with you actually firing up Script Camera Action. That defaults to the script view, which you can see here. And then if I fire up, now you will note here it says no remotes connected. So if I fire up the remote and do a search, it will then search for the device that you wish to connect with. This will, when this fires up, it advertises that it's available and I can connect that. And that can that connect over Wi-Fi network. Now, once it's connected, I know if you want to check it out, you can see it says the remote's connected. If I want to, I can go to and change the mode from the script edit mode to the camera mode. You'll see that will respond in there. And I'll just change it back to, to discuss the interface. So I'll go back to the script edit mode. So you can use that for switching to have a quick look between them. You've also got uh, controls that are common to both environments. But let's stay with the pad for the moment. You'll notice I'm in the actual script mode at the moment. This is the script. The script can be uh, downloaded locally or saved locally, or it can be downloaded or uploaded remotely uh, via your um, particular cloud. Okay. At the moment now, um, at the moment now, I've just got this in in place. When you download it, I think this is the default script that's there. It's very short, but that's uh, that's no problem at the moment. If I wish to, I can go in and I can actually edit that script. So I, that then gives me access to the keyboard. But to be honest with you, I think most scripts you'd want to edit using um, a PC or remotely um, somewhere else. But you can edit there if you want to. You can also save to the cloud as well. You then have, uh, if you wish to, you can access this information here. You can view the manual, the manual which is stored locally, uh, if you want to look at the manual. Or you can go to the website. If you click on there, you can visit the website, okay? So if you wish to do that, you've got access there. And also, finally, if you want to, you can um, send an email to the developer to actually um, to give some suggestions how you might want it to go. This is a rough preview of your, um, your actual script, as it were. And if you want to, you can actually use this to um, play it and you can look at, you can view it in there to see how it's looking and then you can start and stop it by doing that. These are the script navigation keys. Um, if you want to go, a if I want to return this to the start, I just click on there. If I want to go to the end of the script, I can click on there. And this will sync up with your actual script window as well. Or you can actually go a page at a time if you wish to do that. Okay, so that's how you do that. If you want to, you can change the fonts of, uh, obviously these are going to be Apple fonts. You can change the font to whichever one you want. Um, let's come out of that. I need to oh, cancel, sorry, cancel there. And then I can change the size of that font dynamically if I want to do that, okay? So I can change the size of the font. And that's pretty much the script interface. Uh, it's fairly uh, simple, as you can see. I can go to the prepare recording mode by hitting here, or I can return here. Or I can go to my remote and change the mode to camera mode if I wish to do that. So whilst I'm in camera mode, let me discuss this interface here. Now, at the moment now, you'll see the lens of the iPad is here. So this is set in the left orientation mode. You can see here, you've got the chance to select the text layout to be either full view, which is the entire screen. You can select the text to be split to the left, which if the lens is to the left, you can do that, or you can split it to the right, okay? It's entirely up to you how you want to do it. Obviously, you want to, wherever possible, to keep your eye line uh, sweet. My own view is if you're less than, less than six foot, always split it to the orientation of where the lens is rather than the full screen. I'll, I'll knock it to full screen now um, so you can see it's full screen. Okay, you can... Um, change between the front and back camera. At the moment now, obviously, the, I'm on, onto, the, onto the desk here. So as I change the view, you can see, at the moment now, this is the camera I'm recording this video with. Or I can switch the, the, the camera off entirely. So you've got plenty of options there to do that. If you wish to, you can switch to here and you can select wherever you want the view to be. If I just go to here and uh, put the camera back on, you'll see 
as a place. Oops, which one have I gone? You've got it. Yes. So you can see there. In, you can have it in any corner you wish. Okay. Or you can go back to um, full screen view if you want to do that, and switch the camera back on. It's entirely up to you. Let me drop the camera off for now, so you can see this interface a lot clear, a lot more clearly. Okay, so you've got the several views. This, this you can preset the speed for the start. Um, it's I my own view is if you set this to the slowest speed, it means once you control it from the remote, you can then get started and use your your hand to control the speed from the remote. So always start my own view, start from the slowest speed. You can again as navigate up and down or a page at a time on the script if you wish to do that. You'll notice here you've got, uh, you can see the audio levels here and I know that the microphone's working. That's very useful if you need to plug a microphone in and to check that your actual microphone that you're plugging into the iPad is actually live. If I go to here, I can set up and I can set up whether I want to just record audio, audio only, the quality of the video I wish to record. I can set the count in and count out times if I wish to do that. The next thing you may want to adjust is you can adjust the text color. So if I want to change the text color to red, I can do that and say done to check that it'll switch to red. Um, you can uh, toggle on and off the focus box. You can toggle on and off the focus arrows. You can change the, uh, the alpha of the focus box or you can change the focus size. So you've got plenty of variety there to be able to suit, set this to, to whatever suits you. I'll put the text color back to this, uh, this green if that's okay. Do that, you can see, put that back. Okay, uh, you can go back into script mode there and back into recording mode there if you wish to do that. Let's go back into recording mode and I'll set the camera off again so it's clear. Um, you've actually got an indication here that's one, one remote connected. And I think that's, oh yes, you've got information here about the video and audio recording is, that's the mode you're in. It tells you which front camera is live, it's, which is the front camera. Uh, and you can tell the quality there. So that's basically all the information you want. Now, I'll switch it to the um, I'll switch it to the front switch it to the front camera. Switch the camera on, and I'll set the orientation to the uh, split split left, as though I was recording it that way. I may want to just change the opacity there, the alpha box opacity, to make it a bit. I'll make the focus size a little bit smaller, and change the and you can change the background color there if you want to do that. So that's pretty much the live that you'd want to do. You'd be able to view what's happening in there. Now I'm going over to the controller and in the controller, I've got the ability to change the size of the text, which I can do there as well too. So if I want to make the text a little bit uh, smaller, I can do that. I'll just change it to two sizes smaller. So I'm dropping the size, making it even a bit smaller. You can see it's getting smaller and smaller and you'll, you'll get it to whatever you want. It's entirely up to you how much you want on there. I'll uh, increase it again as well too. Uh, you can actually um, navigate up and down the script if you want to do that. You can go straight to the start of the script. You've got the ability to um, do a test run if you want. So if I hit the record here now, it's on the slow speed. If I double click, you'll see it stop it. And then I can just start it again and speed her up how I want it to speed. Okay, you can see I'm speeding her up there and I'll take it to whatever speed I want it to be. Okay, I can go up to that's the maximum speed. I find, again, it's, you, prompting is very much a personal choice. I have it at a slightly faster speed than I want to handle throughout a large um, amount of text. And then I can pause it by just double clicking it for allow me to catch up with, with, the, um, with the prompter. So you can use this with somebody who's experienced on using a prompter and control it for you, or you can use it uh, yourself independently of somebody else, which is the beauty of it. Okay, so that's basically ended there. And in that mode, I haven't recorded anything. If I take it to the start again, and I then go into record mode, you'll see it get ready to record. And when I hit the record button twice, you'll see it'll count me in and it'll record. I'll say, hello and welcome to the script camera action. Script camera action has been created to vastly simplify video media production for professional indies or hobbyists. A simple three-stage process allows you to write a script, tweak audio and video settings and start recording then the final stage to simply save, upload and publish your creations to various destinations, whether it be YouTube channel or your cloud account, iOS asset library, to edit or to polish or to use later. It's as simple as a script camera action. As you can see, that's the first time I've actually read that. So 
obviously not fluid. One thing you will realize as you come to do this, um, you do have to practice when you create uh, scripts. Now you'll notice now, that's now available here and I can actually play that back if I wish to do so. And, as you, and you can see it's just recording the camera that's here. And you can then it's recording the sound as well too. So I won't save that. I'll just I'll just um, um, leave that and, and come out. So if I go back to here, I'm back into my script edit mode. And I think that's essentially uh, the full cycle or, or, or workflow. You can see it's a very very flexible uh, combination of using the two devices to create a a really nice video. And there are examples up there that you'll see where the eye line is pretty good and the recording is surprisingly good. This is a this is an iPad 2, uh, I think, and this is an iPhone 6 Plus. And obviously the quality is as good as the, the camera is on there and it is actually quite good for an iPad 2. So I hope that's been useful.